Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The National Health Insurance Service Customer Center Union went on strike yesterday. They called for direct employment by the NHIS and compliance with the Labor Standards Act. The NHIS explained that 700 non-union workers out of a total of 1,600 customer center employees are taking customer calls and it will work with the call center to improve the staff's working conditions and wages. The Center for Military Human Rights Korea said that the National Human Rights Commission of Korea had advised the Army to withdraw its decision to forcibly discharge Staff Sergeant Pyeon Hee-soo as it violates her human rights. The Army discharged Pyeon after her sex reassignment surgery from male to female, citing mental and physical disabilities last year. The NHRCK criticized the Army for discharging her without clear legal grounds and called on the Defense Ministry to improve the military policy toward transgender soldiers. But the Army is insisting that the discharge was legally justified. The Justice Party leadership interviewed parties involved in the uh, lawmaker Liu Hyojung's alleged unfair termination of her secretary for fact-finding and fair and just settlement of the issue. A party member claimed Liu violated the labor law by giving her former secretary a one-week notice as opposed to 30 days and failing to guarantee a one-hour lunch break at times. The lawmaker acknowledged she made a procedural mistake in the termination notice process but worked it out with the secretary and addressed any misunderstanding. But as the conservative People Power Party demanded her resignation and fueled the issue, the Justice Party stepped in to take responsibility and see to the matter to resolve the issue in a fair and just way. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we're going to have a discussion on the huge market frenzy and controversy in regards to GameStop, short selling, and the Reddit, subreddit, Wall Street Bets.